Warriors, Mavericks, game four. And this one was a good one. Warriors looking for the sweep. Mavericks trying to avoid elimination. Under a minute to go in the first. Mavs up three. Luka pulling up from deep. Boom. Buries it. They lead by four after one. And then on the second, Doncic on the bench. Mavs up six. Spencer Dinwiddie doing work. Going to Davis Bertans. The pump fake and dunks it. The, set, the supporting cast, J.J., I think really got going in this one as Jalen Brunson puts it in. Jalen Brunson was good as always. Reggie Bullock had a big night. Maxi Kleber had some great moments. And, of course, Dorian Finney-Smith was good as well. But, look, it all comes down to Luka and him mm -hmm. being in attack mode. Everything the Mavs do is set up by Luka Doncic. They were up 15 at the break, and then this happened. A rain delay in basketball. Can you believe it? Luka and Steph watching the crew work on a leak. And look at Mark Cuban just stewing what is going on with our stadium. Third quarter, Mavs up 20, though. He's loving this. Doncic backing down Clay, and there's the happy Mark Cuban. Seven minutes to go in the third 22-point game. Steph dancing with Luka. Who wins this one? You know who. Luka making it rain all game. They needed umbrellas. Luka with 30 points, 14 rebounds, 9 assists. Mavericks hang on for the 10-point win, and here's Luka after the game. I mean, I still believe we can win, you know, so uh, swept or not swept, at the end, if you lose, you lose. So it doesn't matter how many we win, but uh, we're gonna, we have to go game by game. Uh, we're going to believe till the end. There's reason to believe when Luca's on your team, he's amazing, right? He's had five straight 30-point games when facing elimination to begin his career. The only player with a longer streak is Elgin Baylor. He's averaging over 36 points in elimination games, the highest of any player in NBA history. The things he is doing in elimination games, just historic. J.J. Redick joining us, Vince Carter back. J.J., what specifically did you see from the Mavericks that enabled them to breathe life into this series? Well, a lot of this had to do with their three-point shooting. In the first two series, they've shot 46% and 48% on open threes. Going into game four, they had been shooting 33% on open threes. Last night, that was not the case. They shot the you-know-what out of the ball. 20 of 43 from three. And, and so much of what they do is breaking down the defense, getting into the paint, creating opportunities for their spot-up shooters, and they did that time and time again last night. Yep, big difference with them getting into the paint, getting rebounds. And, and Vince, I wonder if the Mavs found the cheat code for beating the Warriors. The cheat code is to continue to play hard and make shots. That's what it is, and defend. And I think that's what was the key more so than anything. We know Luka's going to do what Luka does, but he was able to get off the ball, let guys get into rhythm and knock down shots, and that's important to him for him for him to be able to close out games for the Mavericks because if they're not closing, I mean, if they're not knocking down shots while Luka is getting 30 and 40 points, they're going to struggle. That's just what it is, and we've seen that, and we've seen where they're, they're, they're three headed monster with Luka, Dinwiddie, and uh, Brunson, when those three guys score big numbers, they still didn't win because they're going to need a collective effort, and you saw that last night. And then we talk about Luka all the time, JJ, and, and obviously he did work, but what was really interesting to see in this game is guys like uh, Kleba, guys like Bertans really mm -hmm. stepping up to the plate, the supporting cast really coming alive. Yeah, the games that they've won in this uh, playoff run, uh, those guys have been big. There was that graphic up there is basically says it all. Mm -hmm. The Warriors shot three uncontested threes. The Mavs shot 25 Ooh. uncontested threes. Like, that's what it comes down to. Uh, and, and that speaks yeah. a lot about the front line of that defense, being able to break that down, creating an opportunity for the help side to come over, and then kicking it out and getting into ball movement. The Mavs just did that over and over again last night. And they've done that at times this series. They just haven't been able to make open shots. Right, and not in the way that you had so many people involved. Reggie Bullock also delivering after a really tough uh, game, uh, previous game. And Vince, the other part of this is Luka. I mean, what he does in these elimination games is <coughs> nothing short of remarkable, especially when we consider his age. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, what he does, he has a lot of confidence, and he's been in these type of situations before, uh, you know, in the Euro League. And one thing about him, he has he's understanding now. I think he's starting to understand is that yeah, he can score in bunches and score whenever he wants, but he has to empower his other guys. 
to be great early for him to close out games because, yeah, he can't do it by himself. We saw when he had 42, 46 points or whatever, and they still were losing by 20. So, you know, J.J. said it. He needs those He needs those other guys to make, to make shots. Yes, they got a little home cooking, feeling good at home. How can they bottle that up to take it on the road to bring it back to Dallas for game six is the question. You know, another thing that struck me about this game, J.J., is it, it almost seemed, and Steph even talked about this, after the game, he said, you know, these Mavericks, they had nothing to lose. I don't know if I saw that kind of fire with the Warriors. Yeah, I, you definitely didn't. Uh, <laughs> this game actually no. <laughs> reminded me a lot of uh, the game five in Memphis in the previous series with the Warriors. I think they got down by 50 some points. It wasn't quite as egregious last night, but the sense of urgency wasn't there for the Warriors. They need to go back home and get back to playing Warriors basketball. What is that? That's moving the basketball. That's creating open shots through your cutting, through screening. And then, of course, defensively, they just weren't very good last night. The one thing they did well last night, which I think they'll mix in a lot in game five, is that zone. The Mavs really struggled the against the zone. And granted, some of that was in the fourth quarter when Luka was off the floor for a while. But they, they need to mix in that zone a little bit because the Mavs has struggled throughout the playoffs against zone. Yeah, Vince, that seems like that struck you too, what the Warriors need to do to win game five. The zone is key for you as well? The, the zone is definitely key for me. And, but let's, let's JJ and, and, and Ryan, let's throw this in the back of their, uh, I mean, throw this out there. In the back of their minds, 3-1 lead. They've been in this position before where they've get, seen this lead disappear and they've lost the series in a final. So that is in the back of their mind. So game, game four, excuse me, game five is extremely important for them. And they have to have the hit first mentality. We've seen a lot of blowouts. We've seen home teams hit first and, and, and build a, a big lead to try to knock out the opponent or the, uh, the road team. So that's what I look for the Golden State Warrior, a veteran team, to do early. Look for an aggressive step. Look for aggress aggressive clay, as well as uh, Draymond Green really putting his mark on the game as well. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.